So today I'm going to take you through the Triana market here in Seville. Okay, and I'll show you around and I'll do a bit of narration. As you can see, you just cross the Triana Bridge. Down the steps. Onto your left. So this is called the Mercado de Triana, aka Triana Market. So uh, apparently Thursdays are the busiest days. So I purposely filmed this on a Thursday so we have the maximum shops opened. So let's go through lane by lane, okay, lane by lane. Now, I'm not sure what's happening here. I think some of these places are closed during during some times. As you can see, cooking school is closed. Oh no, they're open. Look at that. Cooking school. People are doing cooking. They're cooking paella. Cutting veggies. Oh, that's pretty novelty. another cooking school here now we've been to this e tree before excellent excellent food authentic as hell authentic food delicious oh look at that paella oh looks so good now it wouldn't be it wouldn't be Europe if you didn't have somewhere that sells alcohol I'm gonna take you through this so it is interesting because it's a bit of a tourist attraction but at the same time a lot of locals do come here to buy fish I mean how many tourists how many tourists will actually come here and buy fish and take it back to the hotel room zero although you probably would if there's a lot of Chinese tourists I'll probably do that but no generally not so there's a lot of uh, seafood now this is probably the best stand the best place this is a place that specializes in cured meat and hamon hamon the magnificent animal that is the pig Look at that. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Come on. And you get some cheese here as well. So you can actually buy these and eat it here. Um, they've got their own set of tables. And here's this Karen. We've just had plates of hamon and Karen's hamon out. There's another place here that sells hamon. But I think this is more of like, you know, they sell hamon for you to take home, not to consume here. So this is more of a grocer than a hamon cafe. A flower shop. Let's keep walking around, let's keep walking around. Oh, here's another jamon. Jamon and cheesery. Or jamoneria and quesería. Quesoria. Forgive my pronunciation if it's crap. Look at all that jamon leg. Oh no, this place does jamon. This place sells jamon, look at that. Oh, is that a little deli here? Little bar and restaurant. 
There's a few bars and restaurants around selling tapas, drinks, wine, sangria, Tinto Verana. There's even a hairdresser here. There's even a hairdresser because, I mean, you never know. You might want to be eating jamon and then suddenly you want your hair done. You know what I mean? Like, I always have that epiphany. It's like I'm eating jamon and I'm like, you know what? I think it's time for a haircut right now. Yeah, yeah, I think I need a haircut after this jamon. Yeah, that's, you know, or like you're, you're shopping for this giant turkey or these pigeons that look like they're taken from the park, actually. Like, it looks like they're just park pigeons. Oh, jeez, look at them. They've got feathers and all, you know? Here's a place that sells seeds and nuts. Lots of butcheries, lots of poultry. Oh, a butchery. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So look at that oxtail. Beautiful. Beautiful oxtail. Oxtail is one of the best parts of the cow. And um, the direct translation of it is actually back penis. The cow's back penis. That's not true. I made that up. I apologize if I offended anyone. Not really. There's some croquettes. Butcheries, yeah, more meat, more butcheries, lots of fruits, so much colorfulness, and of course, you've got to have your bakery with breads and cakes, produce. All right, let's keep walking, let's keep walking. Oh. More bars, more bars and pubs. They all, sell, they all sell food, they all sell tapas, they all sell booze and beer and paella, seafood. And it's only approaching one o'clock, so it's getting busier. This is a coffee place. Little roastery is pretty cool. And this one is a deli selling wines and meat. What else do you need? Wine and meat, sausages. There's a little cafe. So look, I mean, you can you can come here and you know have dessert, buy some fruit, eat some jamon, have a beer or a wine and take home some fish and then when you decide you know what i need a haircut get a haircut there's more fruits over here oh and you know suddenly you know you're eating hamon and you need a belt and get a belt i mean these are the thoughts that enter your mind you know like when you're eating hamon you're like, you know what? I need a belt. Yeah. You're buying a walnut, some mushrooms, and you're like, you know what? I need a belt after my haircut. No. Yeah, so there's lots of, you know, grocery. You can get your groceries here, your fruits, your veggies. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I might actually start buying my vegetables here for the last two weeks of our stay. Not vegetables, sorry, I mean fruits. There you go. But yeah, this is um, towards the end now of our little expedition to the Triana Market. There you go, the last one. This is the last shop, a vegetable and fruit shop with condiments and olives and all sorts of stuff. There's a little seating area in the back. I don't know for who, but I'm sure no one cares if you go there. Hey, that's it. Wow, look at these tomatoes. Those are massive tomatoes. Wow. 
Those are huge tomatoes. Look at that. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Look how huge it is. No, 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 no. Yeah. Massive. That person thought I was touching the tomato, but I wasn't actually touching the tomato. I was just showing. Anyway, that's it. That's a tree on the market. All done.